Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a HP gaming laptop. This one is an HP Omen 17, the exact model is a 17-AN101. And this one do come with an i4 78 gen, 16 gig of RAM and a GPU which is an 1050 with a 4 gig VRAM. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can replace the RAM or remove the RAM or even upgrade them. I made a really short video to know your maximum RAM capacity. I'll leave that link in the video description. If your supports up to 32 gig, you can put two 16 gigs in here. But I don't see any necessary to go over 16 gig on this phone because of the processor. But if you want, you could go up to uh, 32 gig, depending on your CPU on this model. Because some of them, they come in an iCore 7 10th gen or 8th gen. They are all uh, different. So check that link in the video description. But in this video solely, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna remove and replace them. I'm gonna show you step by step. All right, first thing first, you wanna power off the laptop completely. Make sure it's off, not a standby, not on a suspended mode or anything like that, hibernation. Just power off completely. All right, now we're gonna go over the tools that I'll be using and I fixed the screwdriver set. And from this tool set, we're gonna be using a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with some opening tool, tweezers. If not, grab uh, for the opening tool a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You're going to use that one. And that's it pretty much. All right. On the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws all around it on the back. These two screws at the back end, these are the screws that they have a little C lock on them on the other side that will prevent the screw from coming out entirely. So don't think like you have to yank the screw out. So just twist, do a few turns, and then you see the screw is loose. Just leave it like that. Same thing on this one. Just loosen it up and leave it like that. And now the rest of the screws are the same size and height. So remove all the screws all around it and keep them in a one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right. Once you remove all the screws, now you're gonna grab your opening tool, and you're gonna stick between the bottom cover and the back. Right here, let me lift it up, like here. You wanna stick it there, and then you wanna twist it, and you want to hear that click sound. You want to do that on the both of the grills at the back. So try forcefully somehow stick that guitar pick in there and twist it. And you want to hear that click sound. Okay. Now you got the back end loose. You can lift it up gently, bring it up like this. Bring it up, go down. Bring it up, go down. Or you can work around on the side and on the front end. You can do the same thing on the front end. and lift it up. And then you, what you want to do, just to simply pull it up and take it to one side. Now down here, we can see the two RAM slot available right in here. And right away, people get paranoid and they're like, you know, you have to disconnect the battery. You don't need to disconnect the battery to do RAM upgrade at all. It's absolutely not necessary. As long as you power off the laptop, you don't need to remove the battery or disconnect the battery. Even there's a, for this, there are few laptops, they all don't even give you access for the disconnecting the battery. They give you a tiny cover for the RAM upgrade, so you can just remove and put the RAM in without disconnecting the battery. They don't even have the option in the BIOS to disable the battery. So that proves the point that you do not need to remove the battery to do this upgrade. But if you want to be paranoid and you want to disconnect the battery, pull this jack backward and the battery is disconnected. To put it back in, is straight in, pinch it all the way in. So this, to remove the RAM, all you need to do is to put your fingernails at the side of these triggers and pull them apart and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. Once it's in 45 degree angle, you wanna grab it and slide it backward on towards the fan on the same 45 degree angle. These are a eight gig DDR4 RAM. So to remove the other one, again, pull and slide out. To put the RAM in, make sure the notch on the RAM this notch right over here, if it focuses, this notch right there matches the notch right on the dim. 
So you want to bring it down in 45 degree right inside the jack. If you try to put it that way around in, you will not be able to put it in. Even if I try to put it sideways, I will not be able to short the board, anything like that with a battery connector. So don't worry about that. Just bring it in 45 degree angle all the way inside the jack and push it towards the motherboard. Same thing. <clears throat> Once you push it towards the motherboard, you're going to see these two triggers open and close. And that's what you want to hear. Same thing here. Bring it in 45. Push it towards the other RAM and nice soft click. Now, let's say that you put the new, new RAMs in and you power on and you don't get anything within 5 to 10 seconds on the screen. That means your BIOS is not doing a, something called a MEM check because it's been a while that you haven't done any upgrade and the BIOS is not doing it. To provoke the BIOS from to start at doing a MEM check or RAM check, what you need to do is to discharge the board. To discharge the board, what you want to do, you want to disconnect the battery, unplug the charger, press and hold the power button for at least 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, plug in the charge battery and the charger and power on, wait 5 to 10 seconds, and then it will forcefully start doing a main check and it will detect all your RAMs. All right, once you have done with that one, all you need to do is to put the bottom cover right on top and squeeze it down, make sure the front side here does nice click sounds in the middle, on the back, right there, and you want to tighten up these two big screws, and the last thing would be to just put the rest of the screw on the sides. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment, I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws.